one screenshot we totally lost asks. Can you tell me more about couple culture in Korea? Do couples really wear the same clothing like you see in Korean dramas? Now in a previous CLDR, we wound up talking about dating culture in Korea, but mm. we're adding a whole bunch of different points to that. Not necessarily the first stages of dating, but now you're a couple. What's the culture of couples like? Yeah, uh, couples in Korea really like to show everyone that they are a couple. And when we're talking about couple clothing, we don't just mean like couple shirts. We're talking about like couple hats, couple shirts, pants, socks, and even couple shoes. Yep. And I've seen couple backpacks too. I've seen like full-fledged head-to-toe. I haven't actually seen the backpacks yes, yet. Just last week, I saw a couple that looked amazing. They were wearing 80 style clothing with knee socks, both of them up to their knees, and shorts, matching sneakers, matching backpacks, Whoa. matching tank tops. That's pretty badass. It was amazing. But it's not like we would do anything like that. Definitely not. That's crazy, right? How did they Awkward. get those photos? Wait a second, before Martina continues, I wanna say that for today's TLDR, I wanted to bring in our couple outfits and I wanted to wear them for this segment, but she's like, eh, no, I'm wearing a pretty dress. I was the one that wanted to wear the tank top. I, I was listen, the one that wanted to wear the listen, shorts and the flip flops. Listen. But you said no, because you're like, I'm so pretty right now. I said no, because no one's gonna be able to see it. All they're gonna see is the well, same matching t-shirts. Well, then we would back up and we would dance and we would show them our couple pants. They can't see our do. couple underwear though. The question We're is not is wearing it. <laughs> <gasps> or are we? <gasps> or are we not? <gasps> we have a couple of pajamas as well. We do. <sighs> we sleep naked. <laughs> so does Spudgy. <gasps> Nudist beavers. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's a nudist in our house. <laughs> Running out of breath. Indiana bath. Jones and whip your fucking dick out. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, no, Couple rings. Mm. So a lot of Korean dramas focus on like the couple ring. And couple rings, as you might imagine, are rings that you exchange. But to me, rings are like a really serious thing. Like right. even in high school, it's like you didn't exchange a ring or jewelry with somebody unless it was like you're dating for like a year or something. It was only the couples that seemed like they were together forever that yeah. had couple rings. Yeah, but I mean, in Korea, it seems to be very normal. You can just get like couple rings to say that you're dating. In fact, like down the street, there's a guy that winds up selling rings and he engraves them for you as yeah. well. And when I was walking by yesterday, I heard like a girl like telling him the spelling of her name. However, interestingly, once you get married, you buy rings and then you never wear them. Yeah! <laughs> What's it with Korean people not wearing wedding rings? I'm not saying all of them don't, but every Korean person I know yeah. doesn't wear their wedding rings. And they, they have put, them. They put yeah, them in their jewelry box. Yeah, in a safety deposit box or something like so that. So when you're dating, you wear a couple rings and then you get married and you're That's like, my work here is done. Mission thousands, accomplished. Thousands of dollars on a ring and I'm going to put it in a box. Okay, so there are like a good zillion different days you have to remember when dating someone in I Korea. I think the most important purchase you're gonna make when you start dating somebody is a calendar because yes. there are so many days that you have to celebrate. Okay, the main one is gonna be the 100 day dating day. Yes. So you're like, I've been dating for 100 days. And it's weird because like for us, like you always say like, oh, you've been dating someone for like six months or like a yeah. few months, but in Korea it's like 100 days or 55 days and it's a lot it's more like specific. having a baby. My baby's 38 months old. I, don't I know can't what that math. is. What does that mean? Are they two years old? Just say it. No one speaks like that. Moms. Moms. So after 100 days, guess what's next, Simon? 200 days. 300 days. 400 days. So it might be hard to keep track of the days. So guess what? There's an app for that. We actually recently went to Guinea because when we were researching this topic, I went up reading about this app called Between that is supposedly really, really popular in Korea. Supposedly one in five couples in Korea use this app. Here, we actually download it. Where's my okay. phone? Well, sorry. I lost my phone. Ah! Wear your pants. Ah! I lost my pants Lee, can, and my Lee, phone was Lee, in my pants. Can you get my phone? Pants. It's over there. Oh, rippin' dough, fippin' dough, I hope it's slow motion. Oh, my phone is broken. Thanks, Lee. And what's funny about this app is that we said to Susie, like, what is this between app? Have you heard of it before? And Susie's like, I've totally never heard of this app before. And we're like, Susie, you're dating anyone? And Susie's like, no. no. And we're like, can you message one of your friends that are dating someone? She's like, okay. She messages her friends. They're all using yeah, this app. This thing is really, really <laughs> popular. Essentially what this app is, it's kind of like cacao talk. Mm -hmm. Almost, it's very similar to that, except it's only for couples. And you could yeah. only use it if you have another person that you're dating and you both register your phone number to this. It can't be like Simon, Martina, 
and our friend. No. It's literally just a personal messaging system between two people. What so I there, think there's you no do, like three-way app going on. Yeah. This is only a two-way app going yes. on here. They've got a D-Day countdown clock. And mm -hmm. D-Day is a term that's used in Korea for lots of things like exam day or D-Day 100 for what you've been dating. So on this app, yeah. we typed in our anniversary for uh -huh. our wedding. Where did and that it go? says like D dash uh, however many days. I'm trying so to find it. You, I wind up remembering all the days that we wound up meeting and our first date and our first kiss and when we got engaged. Martina's really bad with these days and I put them all in here and then it winds up telling you on the side like D plus 2,231 which is how many days we've been married now for I over 2,000 plus, days. Plus I thought it means when we have to start No, it says how many days. So the whole point is that you're supposed to check this app regularly so you can be like, oh, it says D plus 99. That means tomorrow's my 100 day anniversary. Gotcha. Now besides your 100 day, 200 day anniversary, there are a whole ridiculous slew of holidays in Korea that mostly fall on like the 14th of every month. Yes. Okay, so the first obvious one, February 14th is Valentine's Day. But in Korea, the girl gives something to the guy. And then if the guy winds up accepting the chocolates that the girl wound up making, then he has to give her something for White Day, which is the month afterwards, March 14th. We did a couple of videos about these a really long time ago. So click on the videos buttons here if you want to see here. them. And yes. see, man, those are really old videos. I know we look awful and fat. Oh, but they're wearing copper clothing. Copper clothing. Copper clothing. So February is for girls to boys. March is for boys to girls. And then April 14th is Black Day, the day of sadness for single people, which we actually just talked about in our Jajangmyeon delivery video. Mm -hmm. And after that, there are a whole shitload of ridiculous ones. Like May 14th, which is Rose Day. Yeah, which I didn't even know about until we were walking around Home Day. And I'm like, is it just me or are there a lot of girls with roses yep. today? Yeah. And after May 14th is June 14th, which is Kiss Day. Sunday. You need a day for kissing? I kiss my wife like all day, every day. Your nose is cold. The 100 kisses right there. Maybe it was kiss on the lips day. Ah, sex with dad. <laughs> and July 14th is silver day. Oh my You're god. You're like, I love gold. I <laughs> love silver. It's supposed to be like the exchange of rings day. But but honestly, Susie and I were looking up these holidays and she's like, what? Silver day? What? Kiss day? So I don't really know if it's that popular, but I do remember seeing couples doing things like that, like cookie day. See my, yeah, so supposedly there's like cookie days. And well. I remember seeing couples with an extraordinary amount of cookies and wondering if it's like some bakery. Now so. my guess is that this this, these days are mostly celebrated by new couples yeah. that like need things to do with each other that n aren't necessarily really comfortable. So, yeah. oh, here's the 14th. Let's give each other cookies and kisses. I think we should just adopt this and every 14th, we should just do something totally awesome. Or the 16th, since that's our wedding anniversary. Every 16th, let's be like, the next month is cookie day. The next month is cuckoo curry day. The next month is cuckoo curry day. And the next month is cuckoo curry Martina's day. Martina's really addicted to cuckoo curry, by I the love cuckoo curry. If you live in Japan, send me cuckoo curry packages. Japanese people, <laughs> cuckoo curry, <laughs> give it to us. By the way, Simon, what? if you check your meeting app, I actually put a Coco Curry day in there. <laughs> I'm serious. It was five days ago. <laughs> Coco, Coco Curry, Curry day. day. But the mall was closed and I was heartbroken. You owe me. How dare you ruin our holiday? <laughs> Capitalism. Anyhow, we talked a lot about couple culture. If you want to read more about it, we have some more insights in our blog post. Make sure you click on the link here and you can share your stories as well. Yeah. So that's it for this week's TLDR. If you have a question for next TLDR, leave your question in the comment section below. Or check out the questions already asked and give them a thumbs up to get them to our attention or send us a tweet. And don't forget to subscribe for more TLDRs where we talk about our obsession with Coca Curry. I love the Coca Curry. It's really, really good. You know, good. last time we went to Japan, we ate at Coca Curry because it was mm. 24 hour and we saw you kiss on the menu and I sent a picture to Kevin being like, you're on the menu. And he's like, we're following you everywhere because they were in Japan at the same time mm. as well and I didn't even know that. Cuckoo curry, you're so special to me. They fill it with crack. There's something in there. There's something just... scary, guys. Whoa. It's not right.